So we add the content of all names to the student name. So how do we do that? We say student names dot at all. And when we do that, we see it's suggesting for us the sets we can add. So we just select the old name. So what this does is to copy all the content in old names and paste them in student name. So now let us print out the student names to see what happens. When we run it, we can see Evelyn and Raymond are now part of the student name. Can you hear me? All right, so we keep going. So let's just um, print out the old names to show the distinction. All right, I think I'm breaking. So we can see the old names which were copied and added to the new names. Are we okay? So if we want to remove content from a set, what do we do? So we want to remove um, just one item, an element. All we need to do is to use the dot remove. When we look back on our set, for some weird reasons, it looks like Raymond is odd, and that is what we want to take out. So we are removing Raymond because Raymond doesn't seem to be the unique, he seems to be odd, so we take him out. So we simply say student named. remove and we specify what we want to remove Raymond so we want to take this Raymond out so first of all we print before removal So that we distinguish between the two and we print after remover. So now when we run it, we expect it to take Ramon out. So the set is unique and what we actually expect. So Evelyn Samuel is Felicity me. And I think that's beautiful. So one thing we should um, notice when we are dealing with a set of string, we should be careful of what we are adding 
or removing. Assuming I add a white space to remove Raymond and I run it, Raymond will still be there. So the addition or the removal we are doing here is saying you should look for Raymond that has space, white space at the end of it, and take it out of the set. However, when we were adding, we only added Raymond without white space. So we should be careful the content we are adding when we are dealing with sets of string. Are we okay? Do we have any concerns? So let's take Ramon out and we have our set. So now we want to do set operation. Um, want to find the union. And what have you? So I want you to add content to your sets. So we are going to use the add because it's set A. Set A is an integer. Yes, so let's say we want to add to it and we just copy and paste a number of them and we add let's say 20 set A and we add um, 4 and we do the same for set B so set B we are adding 1 3 and go. So let's add the following to set B. And um, we add something to set C and D. So this is C. Let's say we are adding minus 4. And, 15. and we add something to set D. Let's see, we call this one. Um, Zero. And we add things to set E. And let us say this is 10. So the last set we add is F. And let us say we add something in F. Let's call it 15. So I'm sure we have added some things to our sets. 
So what we want to do now is to find the union of two sets. Assuming we want to find the union of set A and set B. But the content should be in set A. How do we do that? We are simply going to say set A dot at all. And we want to put the content of set B into set A. So this will add all the content of set B into set A. So we print out the content to see if it has actually been added. The reason why I'm typing this is because I'm assuming some of you cannot hear me. We already know the content in the set A. So we can say Out set A. So before we do that, let's print out the content of set A and B. So content of set A, let's say before union and content of set B before union. So this is before union, before union, and then we say set A. And this is set B. We print out the content again see what happens. So when we run it, so what is happening to me? We can see that before union set A is two twenty and top. And after the union, set A is now 1, 2, 3, 20, and 4. Are we okay? So, if we want to find the intersection, what do we do? Offset, um... C and set B. But the content should be in set B. Sorry, set C. We want to find the intersection of set C and set B. Let's go back to C. Set C and set B. There is no intersection at the moment. So let's change this one to 30. So that at least it will find the intersection and we'll have 30 as the one common for the two of them. So, we are just going to copy this 
and we paste this and that is so before union we have set C and this is set C before union we have set C so it should be B so this is intersection not union And this is set B. So we only need to copy and we paste. So this is after intersection. So this is going to be set. Um, C and we are supposed to use retain all so set C dot retain all and we want it to retain the content in set Are we okay? So if we run it, we expect it to find the intersection for us. So we can see this is what we get. Before the intersection, set C had minus 12, 80, and 15. After the intersection, it's only giving us 80, because 80 is the only one common between the two sets. Are we okay? Are we okay? So we want to again play with the set subtraction and see how it goes. So we we'll just look at the set subtraction and then what do you call that? We'll finish up with the hash set on Friday. So I'll share my screen again and we see how it goes. It seems either internet or the system is misbehaving. Some other lecturers are also complaining that the, what do you call that? The system is on and off. So, that is probably why. So I would ask that the students to do this one. Use the way supposed to set subtraction. Use the remove all. So do that and we see what happens on um, Friday. Hopefully by then things would have worked. 